All right, so I'm going to do some example songs. Let's post a scramble in the description so you can follow along if you want. So let's get started. All right, so with this weird shape in this pair on bottom, what I'll probably do for this is hmm, first start with a five on top. I'll just turn the kite scallop with one slice, and I can tell that I'm gonna have <coughs> the wrong color on top, or at least a uh, line of the long, wrong color on top when I finish cube shape, since this, the, these two don't move. And then I just to solve C, I'll probably just do a six slice, so no, a three slice and six on bottom slice. And then I get uh, one, one EO, just do it out. And then here I see I have an A perm on top and this weird PLO on bottom, this parity. So what I do is the CP parity. So the CP parity alg I use does a clockwise apron when this is a counterclockwise apron and it'll swap these two corners right here so I can tell I'll get a H perm on top and U perm on bottom to the elk and that's right so it's and for this elk for H perm and U perm this is I think the best way to explain this <laughs> so what I do is like just do the J and elk misaligning the bottom layer and then I just do it again. Well, push in the alignment. And it's done. Alright, so this shape we have a group of six on top and a pair on bottom. What I'll probably do for this is start with a four on top. Slice and just get scallop scallop. Just do the shape. And then here, the seal is already done, but the wrong color is on top. So I just do the EO, so I won't really worry about that now. Just do the EO. And then I see I have opposite swaps in both layers. There's no parity since there's parity on both sides. And I misalign this layer so I can preserve the blocks and align this one so I can preserve the block there too. And since there's the wrong colors on top, I can do this the album differently with a different ending. So I switch the layers. Let's get adjacent adjacent. Anyway, it's done. That's easy to solve. Right, so for this shape, there's a L on top, and this L, whatever you call that. And then a group of two and a group of four separated by corner on the bottom. So what I do for this shape is I'd probably do a negative two on top, and then a three on bottom. So I bring this, this up here, so I get the shape, and it's an easy to slice this kite scallop, and just do kite scallop. And then the seal, I'll we'll just group a three, group a three. I have like most corners misoriented, stuff like that, I don't know. So what I do is do a negative three, and do a six on bottom, so I solve the seal like that, and then one one again, yeah. And here, there's a two corner swap on bottom, and then this weird peel on top. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know what to call these. So I can tell that there's no parity, and I can get adjacent adjacent just by preserving this block. Right now. Then, since adjacent adjacent doesn't flip the E slice, and the E slice will be flipped after doing the ALG, I can cancel on the slice flip, and just do adjacent adjacent from this angle. Alright, so for this shape, we have an. L on top, and the same shape we had last time, group of four and group of two. So what I do for the shape is do a six on top. So it's just one slice to kite scallop, and just do kite scallop. And then here, let's do CO, so move this bar of yellow on bottom to the left side. Let's do this, soft CO, and then we have L, L, I don't know what to call these. Jason is Jason EO. And then I have an H perm on bottom and an A perm on top. So I just do CO. And there's no parity, so I don't have to worry about that. And then here I have a U perm on top, A perm on bottom. So I just do the same thing you did the first solve, but with this mirroring on the bottom. Yeah. 
So here we have the same shape as last time. <laughs> it's a bit funny. So what we do from here is since the L's already in the right spot, or not right spot, we just do a three and move this L up here, this I, whatever it's called, up here to make kite scallop. Just solve that. And then let's do CO. Making sure the right color's on top. And then just adjacent to again. And this time, okay. So I can tell there's no parity since you have an R perm here and a J B perm here. So to preserve, so if I just do the uh, C P L like this, I get Z perm U perm, which isn't very nice. So I can, what I can do is misalign top layer, get this, get U perm, and then I just have clockwise U perm both layer, which is a nice up, and then cancel into the slice flip. Yeah, you have done. So here we have a muffin scallop. So I do I'll probably start with a Z2 and then move this shape, move this group, move this. I still have no idea what to call this. I could just call it I. Move this I shape up to the top and move this pair by, t by negative two. So I just form Kai scallop in two slices. Just do Kai scallop. And then here we have one slice CO, which is pretty nice. And then this EO out, EO. Jason L. And here we have this, I think people call this P, I'm not too sure. And this weird shape on top, it's like R perm, G perm thing. So what I do is, so I know by I can preserve this block by just not missing anything. And I get adjacent from this, because I can tell by this headlight here that it's not an opposite color, so I won't get an, so I won't get an opposite swap, I'll get an adjacent swap. And then Right, what I can do here for this PLL, this one will either give you opposite or adjacent, depending on how you misalign it. So I do this, and like mess and mess with this block, like not preserve this block. I can get adjacent, adjacent both layers. I probably could have canceled there to use slice flip or whatever, and then just do adjacent, adjacent, and there. All right, so for this shape, we have fist kite. This is a bit of an awkward case, but I kind of like it. So what I do for here is move this L on the kite up to match up with this group of two on the fist. So you get a uh, paw or paw and whatever and square. And then do a four on top and then get this shape again. And it's just easy to move easy to make into kite scallop from here. Let's do that. And then from here, let's do CO. And then EO. And then one. Okay, and here we have parity. I told because I'm AUFing a lot. <laughs> so, since it does an adjacent corner swap on bottom and an A perm on top, I know I get a U perm on both layers. And I did. So, this is clockwise on top and counterclockwise on bottom, which isn't great, but alright. So, for what I do for this case, I just do opposite swap on both layers and then D adjacent adjacent. Alright, so this shape's pretty nice. Barrel kite. So I can do this 2 gen by doing a 3 on bottom. And since it's a 2 gen case, this bar this block will be preserved. So I know how to do a 6 to solve CO. So just do, just do a 2 gen, match up the corners on both layers. Like you can do it this way or whatever, it doesn't matter. And this is like a weird shape. So just slice from here. Do negative three slice, negative three slice. And see this bar is preserved this whole time. So you do a six. Or no, a six. Yeah, so you do a slice to get this and then that. Frozen's the best way to explain it, but whatever. And then EO. And here. Okay, so we got this P P peel, I think, on the bottom. And then this on the bot this one. The PPL on top and this weird thing on the bottom. And since the headlight color here is opposite, like this is an opposite color of the corners around it, I can tell I get an opposite swap on this side, on the bottom side. And then since this one can give either opposite or adjacent, depending on how you orient it, like I know by preserving this, I can give myself opposite swap on both layers. So I can just misline both layers and you get opposite swap on both layers. Okay, 
so here we have scallop fist. So what I do for this shape is turn it into kite scallop. So what I do is do a four on top and a three on bottom. So it can bring this line up to match up with the scallop to make this hatchet shape, I think it's called. And then I'm here you can just do an easy one slice in the kite scallop. So I just do a four on bottom and two on top in there. And I can tell that this is gonna be preserved since these corners won't be moved at all. And then just do CO, it is known that this is preserved, so it's easy to look ahead. And then M2EO, which is nice. So here we have an A perm and a J perm. So I know if I preserve the blocks to get this to get this bottom layer solved with a U perm on top, but that's not always the best case. So what I do from here is break up these blocks to get U perms on both layers. And then I just which I personally like getting two U perms instead of getting one. So what I do from here is just do M2, U2, M2 to do opposite swapping with layers and just do adjacent, adjacent. Okay, here it's an easy one slice setup into kite scallop. So what I do is negative two on top to bring this pair to match up with this line and move the scallop on top. Just do slice and kite scallop. And then here just do CO. Excuse me. <laughs> And then adjacent, adjacent EO. And then here, I can tell I get a, I have a V perm on top and a G A perm on bottom. I can pretty much actually. So I can just align this here, and I, since, and I know from here that I'll get two U perms, which I did. And then I can just uh, counterclockwise on top and counterclockwise on both layers and then just do the elk and cancel into the slice flip. Okay, so here we have scallop scallop. It's a pretty nice case. So I'd probably just do a four on top and a negative two on bottom. Just do scallop scallop like that. And here, just do CO. It's been an awkward case, but whatever. And then three, three EO. And here, we don't have parity again. So I know this is like an apron, but with these two edges swapped opposite each other. And then we have this PPLL again. We know that this is going to be, this, this, these two are going to be preserved, which means I'll have an opposite swap on bottom and an O perm on top, because like this is a weird E perm thing. So, and I know, and since like our opposite O perm does not switch, the flip the E slice and the ALG, what I can do from here is instead of like doing J, doing this ALG like I normally would, that would flip the east slice layer, I can instead just do this ALG, which is pretty nice. Slice, negative three, slice, negative three, slice, three, and just not do that. It's pretty nice. And then just do counterclockwise OPRIM and then opposite, which is just M2, U, M2, U, M2. Yeah. Right here you go. So we have this one, two, three, I like to call it, on the top layer, and then this pair on the bottom. So what I do from here, actually, it's a bit interesting. So what I do is bring this L shape up on top, we'll bring this pair on bottom. So I just preserve the shape on bottom by bringing this pair on top. And what I can do from here is turn it to um, square shield by doing a two on bottom layer and moving this pair back on bottom so I get the shield on top and the square on bottom and just do that and then I get uh just do CO alright case and one one EO okay here we go that's parity <laughs> and then so we have a G from on top and then whatever you call it on the bottom this is parity so I know it does a U perm on top and it switches U which is switches these two corners on bottom. So what I think I'll get is a U perm and a Z perm. Let's see. <laughs> yeah, that's right. So to solve this, I just do two adjacent adjacent swaps. So I just do adjacent adjacent here to get. It. So I solve this adjacent and Z perm first, while doing one on top layer, and then just do U prime or you, and so adjacent, adjacent to this angle. Yeah. Alright. 
Okay, so now I'm going to reconstruct some of my official PB singles, my A27 and my 684. So here I have a scrambled on my A27. So what I did here was that I, I kind of did keep shape bad. I could have done it better, but whatever, this is what I did. So I did a 6 and then a 3 on bottom and slice to get paw paw. So what I thought my thought process behind that was like I saw this was already this is already a paw and I can make another one by moving these two, this L up to my tip with this. So I just get paw paw, something like that. And then I see that this is already oriented correctly. With this whole block here. So and this one too. So what I'm gonna do is solve C O and E O in three slices. And I get J perm and G B perm on bottom. So I can just so I could what I could have done is misalign this layer to get two U perms. But instead what I did was not do that and get this solved and then get U perm on bottom. And just did U perm. The AOF and it was done. Yeah. Alright, so here I'm gonna have a scramble to my six eighty four. Well this one it's actually a, a bit of a misscramble. I don't know exactly. It, well, it was, but it was the last move, so it doesn't really make that much of a difference. So instead of doing like this, doing the last move of the scramble was a six. So instead of doing it on the kite side, I did it on the scallop side. But it didn't really make much of a difference because it got the same saw off, anyways. Depending, on, like, regardless of what the last move was. So this is this kite scallop. So this do a negative four. It's that. And then here. There was one slice CO, or no, there, and then adjacent adjacent EO. And here we just have J, J perm, N perm, or N perm, J perm, and misalign the top layer. And done. Yeah. <laughs> it's a really easy solve.